You're this perp back with another video and I just got done checking out all my friends are dead. Before I get into this review, hit that like button and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at perpminded420. This is going to be a little short review. It, it's kind of hard not to spoil this, but the title kind of says it all. First off, I had no idea that this was a foreign horror movie comedy what do you want whatever you want to call it it kind of starts off with you know these detectives going to this crime scene where they see nothing but dead bodies stacked everywhere and essentially the movie is about how all these characters ended up dead and i'm not gonna go through all these different characters you know you got um anna i'm just gonna say her name for short the, the chick with the stars on her face that you see on the thumbnail you have a milf you have, you have you know your typical kind of characters that you would see at a house party this is taking place during new year's eve you know the parents are gone and you know they got a free crib so you know you got all these different characters throughout this movie and they're all kind of pretty interesting i will say though watching the dub it's it's pretty bad but it's watchable you know if you could watch it in the original language it'll probably be a better experience but other than that this movie was extremely bizarre and it definitely had some funny uh moments throughout the movie all these different characters you know the chick uh anna I'm just going to call her Anna for short. She had this crazy ass name. Everybody has some pretty crazy names in this. Um, she kind of kickstarts the events that go down. It becomes like a domino effect. But one thing turns into another thing. You get some reveals that I didn't even see. There's some twists in here that are pretty fucking crazy. But overall, I think it's definitely entertaining to watch. You know, if you love everything that has to do with sex, drugs, parties, violence, you know, th there's all that in this movie. And hey, there's even somewhat character development. When I'm watching this movie, I'm instantly getting can't hardly wait type of vibes mixed with horror. You know, um, it doesn't get right into the action really until halfway through because it kind of wants you to get familiar with all these different characters that you see it starts off as like your normal party but like i said things go extremely left and it just becomes a domino effect it was pretty crazy um that ending that ending by itself is insane um i really like this is not really a spoiler, but you have these two guys on a bench. I have no idea what happened to those characters, but they they were always watching what was happening outside of the house. I thought that was kind of a funny touch throughout the movie. But, you know, you have all these different characters. Like, that's what I kind of enjoyed about this. You know, they're all kind of selfish, have their own kind of motives. You could kind of say they all kind of deserve to die. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but it is what it is. The runtime for this is about an hour and 30 minutes. The pacing, I would say, it's it keeps you entertained throughout this hour and 30 minutes. Like I said, it starts off with these detectives trying to figure out exactly what happened. You have one detective trying to really crack down on things, and the other detective just doesn't really give a fuck. But the bulk of this story is pretty much explaining you what happened that night on New Year's Eve. This has been my little quick review of this. I would definitely recommend go check this out this weekend or if you have any downtime. But until my next review, I will see y'all later. Peace.